Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this little fellow here managed to find its way into uh, the charity shop where Mrs Rathbone works. Um, <clears throat> it is a new old stock Woolworths 14 piece emergency torch and tool kit. Uh, she thought I might like it for Christmas, which of course I do, and it just happens to be uh, one of the nicer presents I got. I got a couple of very good presents for Christmas. One for my son was a tool pen which I quite like. Uh, this however is quite good because it's um, Woolworths went out of business around about um, 11 or 12 years ago I think. Um, if you look at the instruction leaflet on this you'll see it's got a, a website, the Woolworths website on it. So I'm thinking Woolworths might have started using that around about the very late 90s or 2000s, um, probably 2000, uh, 1998 or somewhere around about that reason. I don't know when they started using a website. So this thing could be anything from about 18 years to 12 years old. Uh, it's never been used. <coughs> it's uh, well, The other thing about it, it also has bulbs. Uh, and today I would have thought something like this would have been fully rechargeable with its own power pack and LED uh, lighting on it. This one's got bulbs in it. It can take uh, standard batteries or NICAD batteries. Now that's an interesting thing, NICAD batteries. I believe they started to lose um, sales back in the 1990s to nickel metal hydrides and lion batteries and what have you. But let's, um, let's take a look at this thing, shall we? You open the little door in the side here to review, uh, reveal the uh, instruction leaflet. There we go, there's instructions. So it's got a website on the bottom there. Okay, so let's take a look at a close-up of it all. Um, we have, I don't know why you'd need a, um, a claw hammer in an emergency tool kit. Uh, this thing is, as you can see, it's never been used at all. Clean face on the head there. Very nice indeed. We have an um, exceptionally nice adjustable spanner here. This spanner is um, a beautiful example. It's very smooth, very well finished, nice and shiny. Um, I was expecting it to be uh, quite roughly made, but there are no uh, forging marks on it that I can see. It's been beautifully polished up. Um, the head works nice and smoothly. As you can see, obviously there's going to be a little bit of play here, but not a great deal. And it does actually close up quite nicely too. It's very nice. As I say, I was expecting it to be a lot worse than that, but this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I've purchased um, spanners, especially from uh, the tool company I worked, and compared with this thing, it's horrible. And we have a couple of screwdrivers. We have a Phillips screwdriver here. Both of them are marked um, um, chrome vanadium. If I can get it out. Let's get this one out instead. There we are. Chrome vanadium. They're both marked as chrome vanadium, and neither of them have actually been used, guys. Again, um, we have a very nice pair of slip joint pliers in here, marked as made in China. They've got dipped handles, which is the first set of these I've got with dipped handles as such. The others have got um, different handles on them. But again, it's never been used. The teeth are in 100% um, condition. And then we have a small set of uh, Allen keys here, which interestingly enough are all Imperial. Uh, in here, we have the little uh, power lead that you plug into your um, cigarette lighter in the car and that plugs into the side of the uh, box itself here. Can we get it all back in again? Yes we can. And I say you get the instructions with it too. Okay, so that's the tools. Let's have a look at the uh, outside of things, shall we guys? Okay, so the uh, handle is uh, indexed, so you can, uh, as you get hold of it, you get hold of it like this, and you know that the uh, the flashlight is at the front of the thing. It's quite uncomfortable to hold this way, so you certainly know you're pointing it in the right direction. We have the switch that controls the flashlight and the uh, emergency beacon here. Uh, around the other side, we have a couple of uh, reflectors and a little bit of uh, instructional information just here. Little LED, this is where you plug the mains lead into your 12 volts to charge the NICAD batteries. 
or you can also power the unit I believe from this uh, socket too by plugging it into your uh, cigarette lighter. At this end we have the emergency beacon, uh, flashes orange, it's got four little feet on it. Uh, this end we have the flashlight, these have bulbs in them by the way, not LEDs, it's that old, it's got the old fashioned bulbs in them. Um, this uh, flashlight here you can press a little button here and you can then angle the head to whichever angle you want which is quite handy if you want to work on your like say you're changing a, a wheel or something which is quite handy that's what the little feet on the bottom are for so you can stand it up like so and we also uh, you've got access to the bulb in here just take that off like so and you've got access to the bulb in there let's get it back in again hopefully there we go Moving back to the beacon, you can actually uh, take this cover off by giving it a twist and it comes away, revealing access to the bulb and also the little battery compartment just here. And we simply uh, rotate it like so, um, it comes away and then we pop in four C type batteries, getting them in the right way of course. And pop the little cap back on again. Uh, we're ready to go. Let's put this on. Right then. And by pushing the switch this way, there we go. You get the uh, beacon flashing away. Turn it round. Push the switch the other way. And we get the light on, the little flashlight. It's not too bad. It's not as good as an LED, obviously, but uh, not bad for the time. I guess quite a useful little thing to have. From my research it looks like Woolworths closed down in around about 2008-2009 so that's the minimum amount of time that this thing has been around and I'm thinking maybe 19, very very late 90s anyway, 98-99, 2000 something like that there. So you can see the potential age of this little fellow. Um, somebody has looked after it really well. I mean, it's got a little bit of dust and grime on it, but it's not too bad. It's, it's again, it's new old stock. Um, the tools, as we have seen, have never been used. Uh, they're in very good condition. I like this uh, spanner. This spanner is, in, is a really nice example, actually. You know, you'd think, um, I don't know how much this kit would have cost back in the day, because I can't find anything about it online, to be honest with you. But uh, I think the finish and, fit and finish on this uh, adjustable is rather nice, actually. I say what this would have cost back in the day I don't know maybe 20 or 30 pounds I don't know I shall never know this will have a story behind it somebody thought it'd be a handy thing to have in their car in case they broke down no doubt that's where it stayed once they purchased it they kept the instructions with it it's something that you know that I like to do as well so it's been looked after probably by somebody who really does look after their tools never been used nothing here that I can see has ever been used guys it didn't have any batteries in it uh, when I got it for Christmas. It'd be interesting to see what the story is behind this. These um, Allen keys are all imperial, as I say. I would have thought they would have been metric. So, I don't know. Maybe this came over from America. I just don't know. It'd be interesting to see the story behind it, actually. But, very nice kit. Very nice kit indeed. And, you know, I'd like to thank Mrs Rathbone for picking it up and giving it for me for Christmas. As I say, I've tried to research this kit online but there's absolutely nothing about it that I can find at all. So I've got no, no idea of cost. Uh, whether it came from this country, whether it came from America, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I'd love to know the history behind, and the story behind this kit. Something I shall never know. It was handed in to the charity shop. My wife picked it up, brought, got it for me for Christmas. It's been particularly well looked after. Yeah, I, I like it actually, it's very nice. Thank you very much Mrs Rathbone then. Okay then guys, um, hope you enjoyed look at this new old toolkit this uh, 14 piece emergency torch and toolkit that you're supposed to carry around in your car help you out with some uh, work if you have a little breakdown or whatever I don't think you'd be able to do a great deal with it but um, yeah it might get you out of a bit of a bit of a problem if you had a bit of a problem all right guys well uh, thanks for popping over thanks for watching and as usual I'll catch you later